everyone welcome back in this lecture we're going to be discussing about 16 rules for investment success these rules as it stands out in history that uh, one of the uh, one of the biggest mutual fund uh, or asset management company uh, franklin templeton investments uh, original founder sir john uh, he gave these 16 rules of success okay to his employees and these being published long back in 1939 uh, and those are very key items okay uh, if you're gonna be you know focus on what uh, sir john said hopefully you're gonna do better uh, with your investments so let's see what are those those rules number one Invest for maximum total real return. What does it mean by the real return? Is that the total profit after paying all expenses, including taxes. All right. Rule number two invest. Do not trade or speculate. This is very important. Invest. Be an investor, not a speculator. Rule number three, remain flexible and open-minded about investment types. What does it mean? That, say for example, you have a certain strategy that uh, um, you want to buy only blue chip companies. Okay, But situation may arise that uh, cyclic uh, uh, industry, companies which are or stocks which are in cyclic uh, industry type, they might give you better return. So instead of buying blue chip, you might consider buying cyclic. Okay. So always be flexible with your investment strategy and open minded, you know, gain new ideas, new uh, opportunities, always ready. All right. Rule number four, buy low. This is very simple to understand. Even in, in market, uh, let's say you want to buy a property. So if you buy low, then what's going to happen? After one or two years, property value will appreciate. So you're going to make good profit. If you buy high, your profit margin would be lower. Very simple. Buy low. Rule number five, buy quality stocks at bargain. Okay. So what does it mean that wait uh, for the opportunity uh, till the price of your chosen quality stocks go lower? For example, uh, there are certain companies which people think they are good buy, let's say Apple. So if the Apple stock is trading too high, uh, for whatever is the reason, bull market or whatever is the you know condition, wait. Till it goes low wait to till, till you really see uh, the real value okay now the stock is trading very near to its uh, book value or the ratio between book value and stock value is kind of you know you can compare uh, with other stocks in the sector buy so rule number five buy quality stocks at bargain rule number six buy value stocks okay do not uh, bet on market trends or economic outlook it clearly says that by the value companies where the companies which are creating value or in other words do the fundamental analysis Rule number seven, diversify. That's the key. Diversify as much as uh, the numbers they allow with safety. Okay. What does it mean that? Well, you do certain calculations, you know, you do technical analysis, you do fundamental analysis, especially fundamental analysis. You calculate different ratios, you calculate a bunch of other, other things to analyze properly these stocks. 
So diversification is the key in terms of stocks and bonds. Diversify. Okay. Rule number eight, do your homework or hire experts. It is very simple that like as you do homework at university, college or school um, to get the grades. And if you do homework properly in a right manner, you'll get good, better grades same way. If your homework is proper, your profit will be better. Or if you can do, then hire the experts. It is very simple analogy that if you cannot do the homework, uh, you ask your friend to do your homework. Rule number nine, monitor, okay? Monitor aggressively your investments. For example, you bought some, some blue chip companies or some companies and for whatever is the reason, the, uh, the economic outlook, for example, doesn't look, look promising, you might have to sell that stock for certain months and then buy back. Monitor aggressively, that's the key idea. Rule number 10, don't panic. So that's a very, uh, very important message right there. Do not panic. Say, for example, if it, it is a bull market, everybody is buying, everybody is buying, and the stock price shoots up. Wait, wait till it till you really get the uh, price coming to the range uh, where you feel you should buy. And when everybody is selling, don't sell. Wait, wait uh, till you properly analyze and you find the value that okay, now I don't want to invest in that stock. So never take panic. Rule number 11, learn from your mistakes. That's very important. The one who doesn't learn from his or her mistakes, they keep on doing the same mistakes again and again, and it's insanity. So always learn from your mistakes so that you don't repeat those mistakes again and again. Rule number 12, Begin with prayer or meditation. That's important. Why? Well, when you do prayer or meditation, that helps to, to clear your mind from unnecessary thoughts. Always remember, it's very helpful. Begin with prayer or meditation. Rule number 13. It is very difficult to outperform the market. The goal is to outperform the market, but it is very difficult. The asset management companies who are consistently outperforming the market, they are doing a very good job. Rule number 14, an investor who has all the answers, that's a scary thing because the same investor who has all the answers he or she even doesn't know or doesn't understand all questions. All right? So what's the lesson from, from, from this uh, statement? Well, it's very simple. Continuously seek answers to new questions and you will get success. Rule number 15. Always remember there is no free lunch. If you are, if some company or asset management company or mutual fund company, they are giving you lucrative offers, always remember there are no free lunch. Be skeptical, careful. Same thing applies to initial public offerings. You think that you might save commissions uh, or broker is, uh, you know, waving off commission. Beware. Stay away from IPOs. Beware. There are no free lunches. And it is, all, it is found that 95% uh, IPOs, people who invest in those IPOs, they lose their money. So be very careful. Stay away from IPOs, initial public offerings. And the last rule, do not be fearful or negative too often. Okay? Market go up and down. But 
just don't be fearful that because of the market fear you don't invest that's a big mistake invest and don't be fearful all right guys thank you very much for watching this lecture hope you are enjoying lectures on Lee Profess channel thank you for subscribing and Google blessing those who have not subscribed please do subscribe we appreciate your feedback and support have a wonderful day